in 66, there were about four places to have dinner that weren't spaghetti houses. So by 1975, there were 120 new restaurants, as I remember it, which had, were opening up because it was just known that the Bicentennial was going to be an enormous event and an attraction. Uh, the federal role in the Bicentennial development was profoundly significant, and Rizzo, as I remember it, had some differences with some of the leaders of the federal government agencies that were active in it, but I don't, re I don't remember them as, as <clears throat> being particularly bitter. Um, it could have been a much more civil procedure, I think, if it hadn't been that at that time the police department was under siege to a certain extent, and that Rizzo was very much identified um, with the police department and, and its culture, if you will. So that there was a sense of Rizzo being not really on the imaginative side of reaching out to people who knew how to handle huge national historic events in a city, but rather just went on doing things as he went on doing them.